welcome to yet another episode of Buzz with Stars. My name is Miss Kipinchi and today, I don't know if Edu is already showing you knew who I'm hanging out with, but I'm hanging out with the Commander-in-Chief of the Comedy Forces, like he likes to call himself. I don't know. Commander-in-Chief. Hey, I don't control. Oh, the writer-in-chief of the comedy. I don't know what comedy is. Na usiringe sana mimi ndo narani na regulate. <laughs> Guys, this is Eddie Butita. Now, Butita has been trending every single week. Oh. Kitu kama amelipa watu Twitter. I didn't know. If I number. Ah, kiburi. Oh. But anyway, Butita would like to know even before we get into why I am here today. Mm. One thing, is there a struggle that you had in life ukianzia comedy yako ama career yako? That is a luxury right now. Yani you do not struggle anymore with that thing. Eh, I vitu mo. Na jazi le vitu ko na struggle na zoki tambo. Uki grow na sawindi. Kama wao kumbuki, skeni yoli acha kula tipo ya seventy na na ni na na zile kukuza one twenty tao. Au juangi. Ni na kumbuka. Aha ni limaliza college. Aku nanga exact day ya transitioning from suffering. You just you just realize aya. By the way, I was able to get strong of you. Yes. By the way, I was able to get you to get you to get you. When you get you to get you to get you to get you to get you. Then I was able to transition. So luxury, maybe you say, choosing what I can eat. Aha. What did you say? What did you say? My pocket was choosing for me what I can eat. Yeah. Right? Okay, so if you are not going to choose, you can get you to get you to get you to get you to get you. Yeah. Okay. Sayu na kulele na takikana. Aya, sawa. So I'll just go straight to the point. You know, yesterday, you were trending on social media. I mean, someone else was trending, but your name came up. This is the one and only Miss Mandy. I think Miss Mandy currently squeezy. I think she was on radio. I'm not so sure if she's still on radio, but she has a, you know, a cooking, you know, channel. And I think I have a chakula. Uwa simfuatili sana, lakini na yuwa kutu mahali ya na... Yeah. Yeah. So backstory, guys. Miss Mandy posted a, you know, a tweet on Twitter, and she said she does not like. She dislikes people who are not accountable to the things they do. She does. She cannot stand them. You know. Then another guy who's a photographer, Comedy Tobu, came through and said she's actually he's actually very surprised to see Miss Mandy say that, whereas he she made. His life a hell when he was coming up, you know, working on radio. And I can't be a mambo mingi sana that were very, you know, very heartbreaking. Kwendelea, kwendelea. There's a screenshot that came up. Yako. Wewe mwenye. Oh, yeah. Naijua, naijua. An email. Sta, sta, sta bief kama wasani ati, I don't know about that. Niliona ni metagio kwa yo story. Yeah. Sana. Yeah. Before I continue, I forgive her. Eh, eh. Forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. What they are doing. What they are doing. Now, yeah. uh, maybe, kulize, maybe, uh, your story is what you that in. Yeah, yeah, it's Neza 2013. I remember even the dates. What was the scenario that uh, led to that email? I, I used to be a fan of uh, her show. Okay. She was in a station called Hits FM. Uh-huh. Then it was rebranded to 2FM. Okay. Then uh, I can let you It was sister, sister station to 1FM. Yeah. I think Ilifunga. Uh -huh. So now uh, uh, I used to love that show and every day ni kisikia show nasikia eh ude mako solo kwa studio yeah. kuna kitu naweza ongeza okay. so nikaamua eh kupasu juu nilikuwa najaribu kuma radio nimejaribu tulikuwa na show fulani na consumer ilikuwa anga radio maisha inaitwa tukuza na kina muende every sunday oh you used to be on radio yeah no it was just a segment every sunday ah. eh, at radio maisha so Anton Diema gave consumer a chance who called us there to do segments. Yes. So I felt like this radio thing is working and uh, I can try to maybe get a permanent job. Yeah. Nika try Apo to a firm, nika ambi wanifanya demos, nika fanya demos. There was a producer called, uh, it was a Wambugu original. Okay. So I did demos, went back. Nika ito atena, siku moja, waka sema, eh, ziko sawa, ebu fanya hivi, nika fanya. Yeah. Haka niambia sauti, ziko sawa, ebu rudia hivi, nika rudia. Yeah. Yes. So nika fika mali, Adi tuka nika explain waka niambia jenga ka character, jenga idea. Kwa niambia oke, uneza pata job kwa breakfast show. Upige hata na uyo demu, Miss Mani. Mini liku open by that first, yote wata nipea nda piga. But sasa, sit kwa sawa, but co-host haki kubali. 
Juu yeye utafanya naye kazi. Yeah, she has to give she. a green light. Yes. Unajua pia mtu hezi fanya naye kazi eh. daily. So nikaambwa ndio kumtumia hizo attachment na ya clip reason sasa. Yeah. Ya stage. Yes. Nikadu hivyo nikaandika yeye ni aje uh, kapiga kizungu yangu hapo eh, producer alikuwa ameni refer kwako hivi na hivi hivi ndio hizi vitu nimefanya. Yeah. Uh, hapa na ndio hii kitu nilikuwa nafikiria na hiyo segment ilikuwa nafaa kwa hivi na hivi. Nikangoja. Eh. Eh. Aish, nimengoja. So mimi sikia show yake. Aja nitumia mail. Mpaka kuna siku nime tweet kuhusu hiyo show. Akaona handle yangu hadi aka reply. Eh, uh, I have answers. I have something for you. Check your email. Wow. So, eh. Uh-huh. Eh, hiyo day nimekuwa I think nilikuwa ni asubuhi kwa matri naenda carnival nilikuwa na try bado opportunity za usanii niko tu na airplay moja so na mbili tatu na sukuma usanii ijipe so na check naona amenipiga hapo na eh, i didn't laugh yeah. uh, people did i was wondering why the audience was laughing we are not trying to do what other radios are doing yeah Nikamwambia okay thanks. Thank you for the put up the screenshots. Edu atatokea screenshots hapo ya hiyo email. Mjione tu. So nikasema okay thank you. Ju nili feel uh, kwa position yenye yako and yeah. by that time I looking at her profile all day mama grow Canada kuna yeah. opportunity. Yeah. The best thing should have said yeah. ni it's not possible. Yeah. Work on this on this and hivi yeah. unaweza get opportunity. Yeah. Eh yeah, blessing you say bado hapa kuna Space. Okay, well done. Uh, so I felt like she was okay. too eh uh, akwa mpoa na hiyo response yake. Yeah. I don't know the right word to use. Yeah. I just felt like it was demoralizing and if yeah. it was another person. Yeah. Angejiambia hata ni kama mimi niko chini ama niache. Niache 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 naika. Mimi nataka kujua. When you uliona hiyo email butita, how did you feel? So bad, it was bad. Like I I it just felt bad. I, I felt inadequate. I felt like uh I, I I felt like it's not about what I presented yeah. but it's about who I am at the moment. Okay. I felt like maybe this is maybe she just ran through maybe profile yangu nini and I was like who kidana wa mtaa huyu anataka kutuambia nini huyu. Eh. Nili feel too uh being failed by a gatekeeper. Yeah. yeah. How did you not give up? Cuz I mean I saw that email I'm like oh my god. Mimi ningekuwa na struggle niambiwe hivyo. Someone someone told me. I just talked to someone about it, but I was yeah. not specific in the details. Uh-huh. I only came to, uh, to be specific in the details 3 years later. That yeah. was in 2016 okay. when I felt like niko na confidence ya kuongea kama msanii at least nimefika mahali kuna watu wananijua wili watatu ndio nikakumbuka hiyo moment. Kuna msanii aliniambia Bora na struggle kutafuta job kwa kitu unaweza tengeneza. Mm-hmm. Like why you struggling to get a radio job while yeah. you can own one? Yeah. You can work and get one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, kani tiga, kani tiga, alini make nione. Yeah. Eh hiyo poti linafuata. Yeah. Naweza ta get bigger than hiyo. Naweza yeah. get job ya radio ama hata naweza get kuwa na radio. Yeah. So nika 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 nikaona wacha nisukume jina kwa TV. Mm-hmm. Nisukume brand siku moja nikituma email nikisema hi my name is edi butita yeah. unaweza nijua kama hautanijua na jina yangu yeah. nikiandika vitu mbili tatu nimefanya yeah. unaweza nisikia yeah. because i felt like maybe i didn't have the right baggage okay. but kazi na nilikuwa na jia mimi yeah. mm. hey, thank god you didn't give up because sasa unge give up hata singe kuwa nimeketi hapa sbm bazi umeanzisha yako ni mtu ungekuwa uliwacha kalia mm? Sikiwa na kazi labda ningekuwa jobless but I have a bad experience with radio. Yeah. Very bad experience. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, the only time I felt relieved yeah. to try something on radio mm-hmm. is when I went uh, to for an interview with Anani. Owago hapo kwa Lari. Tukafanya kitu interesting Lari akanita tena na akanipa opportunity wiki nne zikifuatana mpaka kanika permanently kwa show ya radio ilikuwa inaitwa Larry Mado show so me I was the host na bring in the the, the, the social commentary nini it's not a, not a radio is about comedy too yeah. the commentary what's happening spontaneity who updated to bring the the light part of the story so that's the only time I felt relieved and I would see from the comments wase wanasema ni aje mbona umsee hapa TV slot ref ya radio so mimi nikiangalia hizo vitu najiambia ni sawa kama nyinyi wasee muone sasa hivi kuna audience wanaona 
na the right time wataiona so kuna radio moja hapa Kenya acha ni swataje zina nimeenda nimefanya demo nini nikafikia mpaka ule mdosi watu wanasema ngani mkali i think alikuwa mlami huyo mdosi alikuwa anafanya anga alikuwa producer ama sikika hiyo niliambiwa tu by the way akisikia kazi yako aipende uko sawa Imagine hiyo mzee alisikia demo yangu. Yeah. Niliongea na hivi bila kuingia kwa mic. Mhm. Akanambia where have you been? Yeah. Go do a demo, I want to listen. Yeah. Ah uh, nikaenda nikafanya demo akaisikia akaniambia unapata job hapa. I'm giving you a job. Kuna producer hapa wa radio nyingine uh, eh yeye alikuwa mdosi wa producer hata kwa producer. Yeah. Una producer akanishikanisha na yeye. Ndio mtu wa kwanza kunileta hapa alikuwa producer. Yeye alikuwa amesema anatafuta space, anatafuta mtu wa kupea. Yeah. So mdosi akaambia producer Pati ukijana kazi ya? Ya radio. Hey, producer ni kama sijui alifeel. Sasa wewe umetumwa sasa na mdosi tena. Yeah. Mdosi ati amekupenda. Yeah. Frustration zikaanza. Kaniambia kuja training for two weeks. Two weeks naenda pale nimefundishwa mpaka kutumia decks za mashini, yeah. RCS hizo vitu za radio. Zote nimefundishwa na mimi nazijua. Yeah. So na, na train pale for a few weeks. Ananiambia sawa utaanza kazi next month Monday. Next month first hizo wiki ya kwanza Monday naingia anaambia kaa kwanza usikize show kaa kesho na kaa one week eh ananiambia sasa enda ukamafuta two weeks so akanizungusha for like eight months mimi waenda na rudi na sikia show niko hapo tunakaa na yeye tuna tunafanya character definition radio personality in fact ni trainiwa kabisa let's go anza your job mpaka yeah. kuna siku ananiambia come at 5 am in the morning we are putting a segment in the breakfast show na wewe ndo utakuwa unafanya segment eh uh, ya yeah. ilikuwa ka segment kwa nimetengeneza ya dijina yeah. na kuja 5 asubuhi na ka kwa reception ashiki simu anashika simu 8 watu wanapita mpaka 8 eh. ananiambia alisema 5 jioni oh my god eh so namwambia okay eh hey, manzi eh. uliisema 5 am hata iko kwa whatsapp pia yeah. confirmation eh yeah. uh, ananiambia bro ni 5 am na akakata simu yeah. So nimeenda home nikakaa nikasema si ni 5am jioni nitakaa. Yeah. 5am jioni ni huyo. Nimeenda hata nakumkani retreke hadi tao nikachukua matria tao tena. Eh, yeah. mimi kwa nimerudi hadi home kabisa. Yeah. In fact nirudi tao, sikurudi home. Nikakaa yeah. tao. Sasa yeah. nikatrek tao mpaka kwa studio. Yeah. So 5am jioni nafika up studio na ambiwa sawa mishi. Hai. Wanaishi anga. Nampigia. Hey. Ananiambia buda unasumbua. Wow. Kambia uliniambia si asubuhi nikamjioni yeah. na nimerudi. Yeah. Akaniambia mimi nilikwambia ukamjioni na nimekuwa hapo hujaku. Hujakuja. Kaambia bro nimefika hata before your five dakika kidogo kwa five. Yeah. Kaniambia come after eh yeah. uh, I think it was three weeks akaniambia date plan. Yeah. It was on a Tuesday. So I don't a Tuesday eh uh, it, it tells me kuna job na ni show ya Saturday na Sunday yeah. na kulipa 20,000 per month. Yeah. So I'll pay you 20,000 per kwa man nikasema manze mi passion yangu ya radio hata usinilipe uko ready kuvua in fact before hata model gari kwa mwambie kipyo si hata kama ni ndio inawasumbua eh. akaniambia kwa code tu sheria za kampuni au huwezi works hare eh. so hizo kwa kwa 20000 friday and saturday so uh, it's like na party wa tu aliambia uh, look at it as 2525 the show is one hour on radio yeah. kwaambia bro hata usponilipa uko sawa let your cars yeah so job inaanza Sato. Okay. Sato deni nimeingia pale. Yeah. Eh nimeingia hapo Sato eh tume tume eh nimepelekwa tena ku meet uh, famous radio presenter mwenye ananionyesha tena hizo vitu. Eh ananiambia eh yeah. haya tukapiga course na umse. So nikaamba sasa kutoka next week uko so. Sawa. Eh nipigie Monday tumalize contract. Yeah. Monday nampigia mteja. Oh. Kani text jioni akaniambia ndakwambia siku yenye tuna naanza. Kapotea. So it's like one and a half years. Yeah. Nafuataga hiyo job. Ule ule mdozi mwingine alisema niko sawa but mpaka demo zimeisha ladha na rudia zingine. Yeah. So jamaa akapotea. Mm-hmm. So ikielekea 2 years siku moja jamaa akani call. Akaniambia bro kuja kuna kazi yako. Akanipea contract. Kwa hiyo time you been just trying to push for it. 2 years. Yeah. Akaniambia kuna kazi yako akanipea contract. Yeah. Imeandikwa create eh, ni, ni kazi yangu itakuwa ku create ya wasi wa radio asubuhi content uh-huh. na napewa 70000 per month yeah 
70000 pa ni pesa mingi from from 20 na, to 30 eh, naanza behind the scene alafu ndaingia kwa radio on air radio on air okay. eh na kaniambia bro itabidi wacha kila kitu unafanya uko naingia hapa 8 mpaka mpaka jioni sasa hiyo nimeanza kujaribu jaribu stand up imeshika shika niko cha chim show nimepatiwa job ya digital cha chim show kwa Laf Industry yeah. eh nili penda hiyo do but hiyo contract vile kuja hivi siku yeah. sign nilimrudishia mbona nikamwambia bro eh yeah. asante nimeachia eh yeah. kama umekubali naweza fanya kazi eh yeah. that's all i needed yeah ile time nilikuwa naweza fanya eh yeah. hauku nipe opportunity yeah i wish you well uko na 70 tao hapa tafta mse mwingine. Yeah. Hii ni ndio nikipata inaweza nisaidia. Yeah. But for two years you've been pushing trying to get it. It was not worth it. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Hata kama ni 70 tao. Acha tu kai. Sawa. Eh. Yeah. Kuna time ningefanya hiyo job bure. Yeah. But kulingana nayo aso liote. Na nikasukuma hivi contract. I have never felt proud like that in my life. <laughs> Sina pesa that. ya maana napata Kenya. Yeah. But nimekata 70,000. Yeah. Juu ya madharau ya mtu. Eh. Nilisukuma hiyo karatasi. Yeah. Nikishuka stairs pale nikiona wale wasa reception. Yeah. Wenye walikuwa na niona ngazi hata ule mwa reception alikuwa amenijua. Eh. Ulikusha zoni visit akila. You know I just felt like a winner. I felt like Kumbe mse. Yeah. Anajua kazi inaweza fanya. Eh. Mpaka anani believe to a point of mimi naweza create ya watu wa hiyo radio. Yeah. Ideas. Yeah. Before hata skill atanipa ya kazi. 70 yako sana yo so because it was painful you should after kitu to a point that hata ukiget it doesn't matter change, yeah for sure it's, it's it's just about now eh uh, you accepting ingekuwa yako ni vile watu wako anataka kupatia eh uh, so that's the day i said ndio unione kwa radio tena ikeja eh <laughs> so given a chance now would you go on radio given a chance today Yes but sasa bei lazima ifikiwe pia. Unajua <laughs> <laughs> every year naenda nikipandisha bei. Eh. For every year. Yeah. Na fail kuget kuingia radio na pandisha bei. Sasa kuna hata yeye yenyewe sasa nita. Utakataa kabisa. Nita ban. Yeah. Eh. Haya kuna famous musician. Eh. The good friend of mine. Eh. <laughs> eh. Nilimsamea <laughs> lakini hata nimseme lakini nilimsamea. Eh. Tulikuja tukafanya vitu kadhaa. Eh. Anaitwa Noni ni mgenge true. Eh. Alikuwa na radio show. Eh. Akadva akadvertise na tafuta co-host comedian co-host eh kambia si hapo on FM nimeasa hapo tu FM wanajua nimekuwa hapo natuma vitu zangu pale ah nikaambiwa kuja nikaambiwa niende kwa karum fulani ni mitno nini yeah eh so nika kumbe amesikia vitu zangu yeye ndiye ameitisha kuja ni kuona nimeenda pale ilikuwa Easter Friday asubuhi yeye alikuwa anaingia job hiyo siku kaniambia yeye yeah, akasikiza sikiza hizo eh eh bro lakini unajua tutafuti sausage mbili kwa studio hey. kuna demo unajua mwenye kuna sauti hivi akam na simi alikuwa amekuita uh, ilikuwa tu kipindi labda kwa social media by the way aliandika hiyo aliniambia hivyo aliniambia hatuwezi ka sausage mbili kwa studio we eh hey. bro unajua hatuwezi ka sausage mbili kwa studio eh hey. hey, unajua itakuwa ngumu. Eh itakuwa ngumu ndio nafuta coast eh dem. Eh uko na dem best yako uko na sauti hivi. Eh zapiga kazi viti. Eh. Eh. Kambi acha nda kuchekia nitaangalia. Eh. Eh but sasa eh later walikamwa kape ya dem opportunity hapo pia nikasema eh bata ya kukua na host mwingine. I think DNG alikamwa karamu. Ka competition wakapata dem. Eh alikuwa anaitwa Saidi Lulu I think kitu kama hiyo. So nijebe maybe Okay, according to Nonini, yeah. preference yake ilikuwa female cost, which is good to have a preference. Yeah. To give your work a better. Yeah. Version. By the way, but tukitoka hiyo meeting aliniambia kitu, hey. kuna kitu alikuwa anafanya ya ilikuwa Ethiopian restaurant. Eh. Uh-huh. Eh. Yeah. Kaniambia yeah. hey, ni Easter mpango vipi? Wo perform. <laughs> Uza panga panga angalau kamuchape. Tuona <laughs> ah. Ni sawa manze. Eh. Hey. Yeye yeah, ajaniambia I believe on your kazi. Yeah. Amesema noma ni vile ku compliment maboya wili. Yes. But mbona alitumia sausage mbili? <laughs> But nilikam <laughs> kabonga later. Yeah. Na time ame believe kazi yangu hata tukiwa kanipo tukaongea. Mm. Eh, yeah. hata hata kuna siku tumefanya remake ya kitu project yake. Yeah. Because later. Tuli tulikam tuka make good terms. But yeah. 
ni kitu aliniambia tuweze ka sausage mbili kwa studio no nini uliniambia hivyo eh uliniambia so my story with radio yeah. it's it's been a long one for sure mimi mse mmoja tu aliwainisikia session moja hey. na akani believe permanently kwa yeah. radio na ilikuwa lari yeah. na mpaka akanipea job ya tv eh hey. hey. Hey, clearly it's been a journey guys that you can see. Now, Bitita, you see, having achieved what you've achieved, you've been, you know, a director on mm. Chachu Show, mm. Palette TNT, you've been a mm. host for quite a, a long time. Bro, you've been a host for quite a long time. You've been a host for quite a long time. <laughs> Kama CV yako hawezi fanya hivi juu ya hobbies. Hobbies wana za wana fanya kazi ya hobbies. Hapana wewe my CV is good that time hey, sitting here. Sito, na yogopa. Na yogopa yako. <laughs> Inakuwa kana 1 2 Three evil. Eh, hey, yeah. sawa. Now, having done all yeah, that. Yeah, do ina kwa kanusu. Na hapo juu. Eh, lakini ana land. Hapo kwa name <laughs> inaisha kwa religion. Alafu <laughs> <laughs> hobby swimming. Mshemo na kiswim. Ah, uh, we do a gym. Hapo ana kona phobia maji. Hapo ana skydiving. Sasa unashindwa ali skydive wapi? <laughs> I love okay. interest eh. at taking companies to the next level. Ah. Una lamba sana kwa CV wewe. <laughs> <laughs> Ona putita like I was saying. I've yeah. been achieved all that, you know. Mm. You've been a scriptwriter for most of the most successful shows in the country right now. Yeah. Mm. You may direct for Netflix. Mm. I mean you're a CEO for a digital and, and media. Ni kuko na jisifu kitambo. Eh. Watu kuna msema sema behind every successful joke eh. there is Eddie Butita. Eh, okay, sawa. Now behind all those, you know, <laughs> when you saw that Miss Mandy screenshot yesterday. Yeah. Having achieved all that. Yeah. How did you feel? And Aki sijui nasikia aje. Nasikia piti. <laughs> yani leo sijui nasikia aje. Eh. Ju ile time nilikuwa tu msanii anatafuta opportunity. Yeah. Nilifika mahali industry can believe, mm-hmm. gatekeepers wa can believe, yeah. brands can believe. Mm-hmm. Yaani opportunities zikakuwa mbovu. Yeah. That's why mpaka leo mimi nasema usiambie mseno kama haja try. Eh. Eh. Kweli. Kau try, I try. Si hata SP Mbazo unaona tuna miaka watu shika mic camera ndio hiyo. Eh. Jaribu. Yeah. Because there are people maybe maybe aji kuji express yeah. kuomba job yeah. but ni mnoma. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. So me I just felt good and I felt like I would want the same number of years. That was 2013 to 2022. Those those are quite a few years. Like nine years. Yeah. The next nine years. Yeah. I would want to see screenshots. Yeah. Of encouragement. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Kwa wase wenye nimewahi make wa 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 kwa na impact kwa life. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Unajua You, some people probably might not know but you are a director of Churchill Show for quite a long time you know yeah. and you were bringing in you know Five new years. comedians Uliku, comedians yeah. wengi tunajua sasa hivi wa cast na yeah. ukawapea kazi yeah. is it because of what you went through because tumesikia wengi wakikusifu mm. utita kunikataza aliniambia hivi yeah. the way you were handling comedians how yes. are you handling because them because w- how i was being handled yeah and how i, I have I've seen some people handling yeah new talents yeah msanii wote siko anampitisha i was auditioning 80 people yeah 80 people then, in a day yeah in a day slots zilikuwa only 6 or 4 oh my god and you have to say not to everyone else yeah so in 2 minutes 2 minutes so tunaanza gateke teke pa 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 yeah but i used to spend time hata nikikuchuja na kuambia the reason why ni sija kuchukua leo yeah. enda uchange intro yako make sure the first minute ongelea topic na kai hivi yeah tunajenga na wewe set na kuambia come next week come work hizo vi there are people i never gave a chance on stage yeah but they became better elsewhere yes because i gave them the lessons and i told them what it takes to be on that stage yeah. they never just got time maybe to perfect mm-hmm. on time kuja kwa stage yes. but mali wako yeah wali get opportunity kuna ule ndio uta correct yani aseme kwenda ujanisaidia nini eh, eh. but kuna huyo msia atasema butita haja inisaidia alinifukuza eh. kuna huyo mwenye atasema but you see pros and cons yeah for sure the pros ni um, more the cons more, yeah, yeah. yeah so mimi sijai hata mimi nikipasha msee kwa simu eh. ananisumbua eh. na mpashanga na reasons namwambia enda weke hivi enda weka hivi weka hivi hapa eh. eh, upigiangi mtu simu na unasema niaje mimi niko na ngoma unasema anga mimi msanii fulani Yeah. Ji introduce kwanza hivi ndio unafanya. Yeah. Sasa nipigie kesho tufanye hivi. Tufanye hivyo. Yeah. Ananipigia ananiambia hivi na hivi naambia sasa umeipata. Yeah. Sasa hivyo ndo nataka ukwe unafanya kwa kila mtu, kila kwa kila mtu. Yeah. Uko social media, umepost hiyo clip yako. Yeah. Before ni ku support unajisupport kwanza. Mm-hmm. Sasa nataka ufanye clip uweke. Alafu sasa mimi nichukue kwa wako. Wako. Yeah. Niweke. 
Mimi napatia game season ni juna jua. Yeah. Eh he. He will be funny. Hata kuna za kwa mtu sio talented na kwa famous. Very true. So you never know tomorrow. Everyone uh, they have their own luck. Yeah. And don't be a reason why someone wants to revenge in future. Yeah. Eh. Na zingine ni laana. Eh. For every life yeah, una yeah, make yeah, yeah. lose moral. Yeah. It comes back to you and your family and your kids. Kuna watu wanateseka saa hii kwa sababu ya vitu walifanyia wasanii. Eh. Sasa mimi usema Huyo mzani una nyimo opportunity. Eh. Si umpe ya kwe mdosi. Ndiyo eh. ukifutu wa mali huko. Akuajiri. Akuajiri. Eh. Wewe umeandikuwa kazi ya kupatia wasani stage. Yeah. Umeandikuwa kazi ya kurekord wasani. Eh. Ya kudirect wasani. Wape moral wa inspire. Huyo mzani ya takuwa mkubwa. Akuwe na production company next year. Akuwe ke mdosi. Eh. Ama pia wewe. Ata sema wadi yako mahali. Upate job. Ama uwanze pia entity yako kubwa. Eh. Okay, ukianza production yako na entity yako hawa sani wa kutaki ulikuwa na rocha. Ukifutwa mali huko hawana palipa kukuweka jua waja succeed. Ninyi wote mna. Sasa unanipigia simu unaniomba 500 sina kwa sababu yeah. haukuniweka mali ninaweza pata. Yeah. Sasa mimi nateseka wewe unateseka sisi wote maskini. Nateseka. <laughs> Well, that makes a lot of sense, Butita. Hey, wisdom, wisdom galo. Now, Butita, mi ningetaka umenshon. Wasani wa, watatu wa wili, mm. ambao ulipea chance pale chachi. They became very big household names. Yeah. And you're proud of that right now. Wasani ni wengi. The reason why it took almost 10 years for nyinyi kujua wasani ni mesaidia. Yeah. Ama tumesaidiana. Yeah. Nijumi wacha wasemi. Eh, nge kwa nasema, nge anza kusema kitambu. Mm-hmm. But there is a, a specific case that Mimi sema manga ilikuwa miracle. Mm-hmm. Ya yeah, MC Tricky. Eh. Tricky tulikuwa tushamchuja complete. Kabisa. Eh, niaje hakuna opportunity. Then akienda home, wase wasani, yeye yeah, na walikuwa wasani kwa tatu. Wakienda home, <laughs> nikiangalia program nika realize haya. Hizi show ni short, tunaweza ingiza msemo mmoja extra. Nikatafuta ni nani? Kwa wale wase wote wamechujwa leo. Eh. Yeah. Alafu kumpiga eh, siko na namba yake nikapigia boy planet wa Nicole. Kwambia Kuna obo ya naituwa Frank. Uh-huh. Alikuwa naituwa Frank, sijui trikista. Umemuona ma, ameishi ya, kani ambia Frank. Ata tukona ye, ni beste yangu tunenda home. Uh-huh. Mpe simu. Ni aje bro, kuja kesho wa subuhi. Uh-huh. Aka kama subuhi. Uh-huh. And the rest is history. Hey, tricky, okay. That is how it happens. <laughs> I, I think alikuwa naomba mungu sana. Uh-huh. Uh, and, yani, iyo moment ilikuwa mira kwa sana. Yeah. Na kianza show, kuna wase wako wana penda vibe. Wana sema, obo ya napige uchokora. Ana disgust audience. Mm-hmm. Mkwa nikimuambia nyuma ya tents kumoja. Bro, hapa hakuna msia nakupenda. But, kitu audience itasema. Yeah. Kila mtu watapuata. Yes. Haka pigia shokali. Audience ikampenda na ikampenda. Mbaka wala wasa walikuwa na mchukia, walikuwa na sema. Bona tricky ya yuko kwa? Kwa, kwa, kwa line up. Eh, eh, like, eh. tricky fought for himself. Yeah. And, uh, ni sawa. That's really Kuna wengine tunasaidia, yeah. wengine tunapea mbaka opportunity. Tunampeleka mbaka mahali ya napewa kazi. Kuna wasani wengi tupepatia bako opportunity. Yeah. Mimi mbaka kuna wasani mwona kani. Hawana chance na piga mahali simu. Wana ingizwa. Yeah. Kuna wasani nimekuwa na pelekadi kwa kampuni. Umu se mpatie ni kazi flani. Mm-hmm. Mata wase mangi wengine. Yeah. Yeah. Misawa. It's okay. Don't say. But me say the reason why God protects me. Because yeah. God knows what I do. For sure. Eh, mungu alizema sita wa ilala nja. Sita wa yeah. ikosa malipa kuka. Yeah. Nini. Eh. TSP mnonanga tunaishi huko. Tunaishi. Tunasurvive mm. tuko sawa kabisa. Yeah. Tukimalizia. The Eddie Butita that we know today. Mm. Please tell Miss Mandy something. Miss Mandy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all the best. I wish you all the best. And uh, I believe in your work. Currently, we have uh, things that we are doing like SPM Buzz. We have segments there. We can. We we are willing to work with you. You can bring your show for cooking. As we believe in your work, uh, we love what the audience say. We can put that show there and uh, at all. Uh, we can grow together. We can grow together. Yeah. You are welcome to work with us. Yeah. All right, so Butita, thank you so much for giving us this exclusive. I know Ujai Yongelea Malipopote, but it had to be to on SPM by yeah. now, guys. Thank you so much. I hope Melan Kitu. Kona last words. Last word, me sina dui, mwasamea. Eh. But wakikosa mahali pa kuingia, yeah. wakuja tuneza wafon. Eh. Eh. Aya, mshaskia. Butita said, I have to end this there. This was Buzz with stars right here on SPM Buzz. Mm. And my name is Miss Kipinji. Until next time, goodbye. Adios. SPM Buzz. 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 Buzz.